So guys, we will uh, first create our Java application to access the serial port. So to do that, let's open uh, Eclipse. Again, you can use any ID, whatever you are using. And if you have uh, like if you are new to Java with Raspberry Pi, you can check my earlier tutorials around Raspberry Pi and Java and around Pi4j. So for this, we are going to use Pi4j library to access the serial port of Raspberry Pi using Java. So let's open it up. Let's create a new project. Let's say serial access Java. Okay. Set the JRE. Click on finish. Now create a new class that will contain all our code to access the serial port. So, name it and plus and include the default for the static void method. First you need to initialize the serial port. To do that, you can use int let's say serial port plus serial dot Sorry. Before that, we need to include the Pi4j library into our project. To do that, we go to build path, configure build path over here, go to add external jars and include all your jar files that you have uh, like downloaded earlier or the Pi4j library. Okay. So if you are new to Pi4j, you can check out my earlier tutorial to how to use it with Java. Okay. Click on OK. So now the requests serial dot serial open and it takes two parameters first is the serial port that you want to communicate with serial dot default comport as you are using the comport or the default comport present in the GPIO pins okay next is the baud rate that is the 9600 or uh, whatever it may be you are using currently okay now this actually returns minus one if it is like unable to initialize the serial port. So to check that, I can write if serial port equals equals minus one. Okay, you can write down. So we can simply print out a statement that. It was unable to initialize the serial port. To do that, we'll uh, write the print line. So simply print out the statement that serial port failed, and we will exit the application. Okay. Now, if it has successfully initialized the serial port, we can type in like. Port serial port initialized. Okay. Now to write into the serial port, you can use serial dot serial put s. Uh, you can use anything like put bytes, put bytes, or put care. Simply puts. Okay. So I'm going to use put s. That is write down. It will write down some string into the serial port. First parameter is the serial port website over here which we have created. Okay. The handler of the serial port. Then the message you want to print it to the serial port. So let's say we we'll want to write a I am on by serial. Okay. So this is simply like writing to serial port. Okay. Now, if you want to read from serial port, 
uh, you can do like this first uh, let's say you want to read from serial port you can check if serial data is available so to do that i can uh, write serial dot serial data available so and it takes one parameter that is the serial can pitch of the dot and if that is greater than zero, that means some data are available on serial port. And let's wrap it up with a if statement. If we are getting uh, like data on the serial port, then we are going to read it. To read, I can use commands like serial dot serial. I can use like get byte, get bytes, or get get. Okay. So I'll just use get get, and I'll read from serial port. Okay. Object. And so over here, actually this returns integer, so we need to cast into character. So I'll cast into character. And I'll just create a variable. Care, say, in care. So uh, now my variable contains the byte read from the serial port. Okay. So let's print it out into the terminal. To do that, same use the system dot dot print line. Print line. And X. So we'll what it does is if serial port data is available and it is greater than zero bytes, it will read the particular byte and write down into the serial console. Sorry, into the terminal. Okay. So uh, let's go back. So okay. Now, after like uh, finishing all those things, let's say you want to close the serial port, you can write serial dot serial close. And the serial port. Okay. Now you want to let's say you want to read the like uh, data. Uh, now let's say you want to read data from the serial port continuously. To do that, we can wrap it up with a while loop. So over here, we'll uh, write down while two. So it runs forever, and we'll wrap this thing. Okay. Now this will uh, so, like. To error like unreachable code because this loops never exits. Okay, so you can write down some conditions so that this loop exits and this uh, statement get executed when certain conditions are met. Let's say you want to control the serial port by using a GPO pin, you can use there. Okay, so these are the options available with the serial port. With Raspberry Pi using Pi port J, and there is a wearing Pi uh, library. So uh, you can explore other options by your own. So let's compile this particular class and let's try to export it into a executable jar file. Okay. So don't ever worry about this error because uh, it happens because we are running a Linux application that is like. In Pi4j, that should run on by a Raspberry Pi actually. So it uh, like put some error in the console. Don't worry about that. Export the application. Select the class over here. This is the serial class access Java and the jar file you want to generate. Okay. Then click on finish. Click on yes. Yes. No issue. Now, before uh, like uh, copying this particular jar application file into Raspberry Pi and running it there, we need to connect the Raspberry Pi serial port into our system or PC so that we can communicate with the Raspberry Pi by using any serial console software in our desktop. Okay, so let's connect it and come back again to the desktop. Okay? So, guys, over here I've got a USB to UART converter to connect the Raspberry Pi to the desktop. So when choosing USB to UART converter, just make sure 
this is compatible with 3.3 volt because raspberry pi supports only 3.3 volt so if you are going for 5 volt or something so it may damage your pi so be careful about that and let's try to connect this with the raspberry pi gpio pins okay so first come to raspberry pi so in the gpio pins the outer rails first two pins goes for plus 5 volt then third pin of the outer rail correspondence to ground okay the next pin correspondence to tx pin of raspberry pi okay and next is the rx pin so these are the first four pins of the outer rails of gpios of any raspberry pi you take okay particularly this is i am using a b model but it is same for b plus two and three okay so let's try to connect this usb to your bridge to the raspberry pi to do that i'll simply plug in a jumper over here okay and first i'll connect the ground pin to the ground pin of raspberry pi okay that is the third pin of outer rail okay next connect the rx pin of your reward bridge to the tx pin of raspberry pi okay so over here rx pin is the second okay this one it will be connected to the tx pin of raspberry pi okay then next pin is the tx pin that will be connected to the rx pin of raspberry pi okay so uh, this is all with connections we don't need any other pins of the usb to your bridge because it has got cts rtls and basically all those pins but that is not required over here we simply need the rx tx and the ground pin okay so i'll just connect this one over your usb port to my desktop pc and connect uh, this through network cable to have a ssl session and run the program from terminal okay so let's get back to pc and check it out so guys uh, like we are ready with our application and we have connected our system to the raspberry pi by using a usb to your serial bridge so over here we are going to need one application uh, like you can actually use any serial port application you want to use but for me i will be using the terminal application that is, the L that is being provided by ultima only I'll use Ultima serial port terminal or simply you can use putty okay so I'm going to use terminal over here so let's open it and click on new session or select the com port uh, that is connected to your raspberry pi format con 16 and select the baud rate that we have programmed in our application so it's 9600 over here and open it up so you can actually use any other application if you are acquainted with anything else have to communicate with the Raspberry Pi. And this particular software is Ultima Advanced Serial Port Terminal. So I'll just uh, provide a link down below in the description. So if you are interested in it, you can download it and use it. So okay, we are good to go. Next is uh, let's do open up WinSCP and copy our application to the Raspberry Pi and try to run it there. Open up WinSCP and copy our jar file that we have created earlier. So it is test.jar, test leave. And let's open up an SSH session. See if uh, we get our usable jar file over here. Okay, we need to navigate to desktop because we copied the jar files to desktop. Check okay, you can find the text jar file over here. So let's try to run the jar file to do that. Type in the command sudo java jar. So let's see if uh, if you are like new to Java and Brazil Pi, you can uh, follow my earlier tutorial to get to know about that. So see, over here 
as uh, programmed in our application you can see it has successfully initialized the serial port so you can uh, check out okay this uh, typo there so it's not the default it's default so whatever over here you can see it has printed out default serial port initialized okay and let's check out the uh, terminal software or the serial port software you can see it has printed hey i am on pi serial okay that has been printed by our application into the serial terminal so let's try to put some input to the raspberry pi uh, let's say i input a string and you can see over here it has printed to the terminal or serial console So that's all with serial conversion guys. So that's all with uh, serial port guys. Hope it will help you to work around serial port with Java and Raspberry Pi. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's me once again and hope you have liked my video. If so, just hit the thumbs up button. So if you don't, there is a thumbs down button for you also. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest updates. Okay, see you next time with my new content. That's all guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.